clearing of those skies throughout Friday. It's not often that criminals give a guided tour of their crimes and then conveniently leave a video recording for police to find. But that's what John Mark Tillman did. The prolific antique thief pleaded guilty yesterday and was sentenced to nine years in prison. Tonight, we can show you that video. It gives disturbing glimpses into how Tillman thought. Blair Rose covered the trial from the beginning and he joins us now live in the newsroom. Blair. Amy, one of the key pieces of evidence that was used against Tillman at his bail hearing was the man in his own words on videotape showing off some of his stolen property. This is my house at Miller Lake. John Mark in Tillman July in the summer of 2011 narrating a video tour of his luxury lakefront property in Fall room. River. Police recovered this video when they searched his home last January. The tour includes this glimpse into the man's white supremacist leanings. This picture of the great man I have in my office. I'm the greatest man in history. A decent man. The video was a useful inventory for police. There's quite a story behind this door. For another time. That stolen door belongs here at the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Some books in there that are extremely valuable. Um, probably the most valuable one being the Origin Species first edition by the famous Charles Darwin. That book should be worth between $100,000 and $200,000. It's a really significant book. Tanya Harrison is the university librarian at Mount St. Vincent, where this book belongs. I mean, there weren't that many uh, editions actually made. It is a first edition. Ours was in fairly good condition. Was in good condition. Tillman tore pages out of books and corners off of documents that would identify their rightful owners. If we were to get the copy back uh, with that page removed, um, we'd, we'd just be happy to get it back. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's damaging, but it's, um, it's not the end of the world. After Tillman's crime was discovered, the Mount put its priceless McDonald collection of rare books behind lock and key and under the watchful eye of security cameras. Well, maybe it was for, for the best that something like that happened. I mean, locking cabinets is not a, not a, a big deal when you think about the importance of the collections. Harrison hopes to get all the stolen books back, including Origins of Species. This afternoon, the Justice Department told me that if artifacts, if owners can't be found, artifacts will be donated to museums. As for other stuff, like Tillman's house, that's to be auctioned off, and the proceeds used to fund things like crime prevention and victim services. Amy? All right, a fascinating story. Thanks, Blair. Blair Rhodes, live in...